okay, I'll automate it. And what I do a lot with the solvers is, again, is I'll have an idea of something I want to test. Maybe I'm picking my game at one squad and I'm trying to pick Salah or Holland and I'm trying to test whether I think both of them together or which one works. And so I'm, I'll run some simulations and see if I pick Salah and he gets injured, how easy is it to get to Haaland? Does the solver kind of let it do that or vice versa? Or if I have both, what lets me kind of move around? I can do that manually. I can kind of work it through and work through each path one by one. But if I wanted to go, okay, I want to see what happens at scale or over 10,000 simulations, then like that giving me really useful data and it's not like it's telling me an answer it's just it's going to tell me if Salah gets injured 50 percent of the time in the in the first four weeks this is the kind of thing you can do but it only lets you swap to Saka and Haaland if you don't have Trent so some of the strategy stuff is doing it at scale with the simulations and some of the projection stuff is doing it at scale because you're doing all these different players and for me that's really enjoyable